What's going on, everybody? Mr. Happy Drew here with another Subnautica episode four, I believe. Uh, we're here right outside where we left off in the last episode. We're heading back to our base to make our ultra capacity something, something, something air tank. All the goodies. All right, so let's make sure our lithium isn't in here. I need, I think I need sulfur. Let's take one out. I don't know what I need. I know I know I need lithium. So let's grab the lithium. Where you at? Lithium. Yep. Lithium. But what did I else did I need? Two glass, one silver, and the tank. All right. Wait, what? Stasis rifle. Freezes physical objects in place. Hmm. I can build this laser cutter right now. Let's build a laser cutter. Wait, I thought... I thought you the tank. Modification station. Oh. Lithium and then the tank. Okay. Where is the modification station? Did I have a modification station? Two with three. Oh. Alright, let's listen to those PDAs. Obviously, we can't get the thing that I thought we were going to get, so. I just listen, listen to that, guys. One, two. I got a couple of them, so let's listen to these guys. I thought it might get claustrophobic living underwater. Father feels it is. He'd tell me it was childish, but I stare out of the window and sometimes I think how lucky I am to see this world up close. Back on the island, I wouldn't have believed the creatures that live down here. The fish, they glow. There's one that's 90% eyeball. Snakes twice the length of a habitat compartment. Certainly, it's not all friendly. Most of the plant life is toxic. Learned that the hard way. But I've managed to coax some marble melons into growing indoors. And when they don't cover our dietary needs, well, we eat the fish themselves. It's a bit gross, but there's nothing they can do. I've been attempting to document my findings. Father approves. He says understanding is power. That the more we know about this planet, the more we can use it to our advantage. I'm just doing it because it's fun. It's not easy without proper equipment and network access. But the old-fashioned way, observing, taking notes, testing theories, shows me the world in a way a spectroscopic analysis never could. Lately, I've been watching the crab snakes. They ambush their prey as it tries to feed on the mushrooms they hide in. What they don't eat settles on the seabed, which fertilizes the mushrooms, which feeds the herbivores, and so the chain continues. Coevolution gives me the fuzzies. That's actually a pretty like a we're not we're all not gonna die thing. That's pretty fun. Let's read this. Something incredible just happened. Since we're down here, I had this plan to build equipment and study the life forms we were encountering, but I didn't have enough enameled glass. So I started looking for a natural substrate that would strengthen the glass we have. And those stalker teeth we've been finding fit the bill. Only well we needed more. That's when Marguerite got interested. She actually listened to me. More than I can say for father. And I worked up the courage to talk about my more tentative theories. When I told her they were attracted to metal deposits, that their teeth get dislodged when they pick them up, her eyes narrowed and she dashed out of the room. Three hours later, she came back, her pack loaded down with stalker teeth. I asked her about it. 
She shrugged and said my theories were good. Said she had the meeting out of the palm of her hand. I think she meant it literally. She is incredible. She went out to the kelp forest armed with just a heat blade and went fin to fin with a pack of stalkers. On the one hand, that is the coolest thing I have ever heard. On the other, well, I hope the stalkers didn't come off worse than Marguerite did. She had a huge gash on her forearm. I don't think things went as smoothly as she made out. What's the point in surviving here if we have to kill everything that makes it so wonderful? I wish I knew more about these animals. But Father won't let me leave the habitat. Maybe with all this glass, we could build a containment unit and get up close to them. Oh, and that's that's sad. All right, so we're gonna make some more water. More water? Is that what I'm doing? All right, what's the next one? I'm missing three and four, so I don't know what that's at, but. Son, there is always a pecking order. And in our world, money makes a hierarchy. I pay Maida a fraction of what I pay you, and you a fraction of what I pay me. If money makes the hierarchy, why is Marguerite making the decisions? We need her. We let her think what she likes, so long as she does what she's told. What if she doesn't? For enough money, she will. People always do. Hmm. So he seems like he's the, like, scientist, like, that just, you know, loves nature and does, wants to preserve everything. The father sounds like the rich guy that's just here because the son has these interests. And, um, the lady sounds like she's just a badass mercenary type. So it's pretty good. It's pretty cool. All right, so two water, some more food. Um, this coral I don't really need on my inventory. We'll just toss it into the, you know, we'll leave it in here. We'll just grab all this out, all the water out. We'll toss all this in. We'll grab one or more of these out. We'll toss the golden. And. One battery. Yeah, use the, the used battery for the. Oh, great. Okay. So let's make another locker. Excellent. Go down here. Drop the locker. Excellent. Drop these guys in with the water. And the food. Okay, cool. Let's grab one water for the road. This will be our little section right here. We can keep our stuff in. We'll toss our lead upstairs. I hope. Yeah. Blade will fit. Excellent. Let's go back to that area and look for another modification table. I hope it'll be there. I might make a bunch of pipes in that breathing apparatus. Actually, let's do that. Let's make that breathing. What's that breathing thing called? It's up here. Breathing thing. What is it called?
Alien Containment. So I saw this somewhere. An Alien Containment thing. Interesting. Dust, trash can, wall planter. What's it called? Is it a tool? It's got. Oh, here it is. Air pump. Okay. Titanium and pipes. It's ti Both are titanium. I got those tools. Okay. Titanium. Take out all the titanium. Let's grab one of these. Five pipes each. The pipes are probably five to ten meters long, so we'll probably need Probably need more than that, honestly. Time to go get some more. Oh, some gold. Ooh, what is it called? We'll go try with what we have so far, and then if we need any more pipes, we'll just come back and make it. Where are we at? Oh, wrong way. The sea glider is really nice. Like, super nice. Excuse me, manatee guy. Hundred and fifty feet, about here ish. Where are you at? There. We'll get the exact spot where the hole's at, comes out at. About here ish. Okay. Drop. Oh, nope. There we go. Cool. All right. So, pipes. Where you at? some oxygen cool this is great all right let's go down more up go oh going the right way right pretty much yeah Excellent. This is taking forever, but that's fine.
passing 100 meters. Oxygen efficiency decreased. Get some oxygen while we're here. Excellent. Detecting increased foreign bacteria levels in the water. Performing a self scan is advised. Okay. Self scan complete. Vital signs normal. Detecting trace amounts of foreign bacteria. Oh. To monitor. That's not good. I'm all out of pipes though. At a hundred and. 40 meters. Okay. So I need probably five more pipes. Hmm. Copper. Lithium. Silver. Good. Two. There we go. Metal salvage. Should come in handy. There are some over here, I think. And... And... There we go. That's plenty of pipes right there. I don't like this bacteria stuff. Not one bit. Left some on the, the bench. Drink. Okay. Let's go place these, and if I need more, I need more. Okay, here we go. This way? Yep. This bacteria thing is really worrying me, actually. Okay. I mean, that's sort of straight for a while. Uh, I mean, that's fine. Okay. Pipe. All right, get the rebreather on now. Oh, this is sort of finicky, isn't it? Excellent. Where do I want this at? Let's go put it over here. Continuing forward. All right, 
How many more pipes I got? Two more pipes. Cool. Go to about here. One and two. Alright. We got a... Uh... Why do we have to run back and forth in water anymore? Uh, oxygen anymore. Let's get a little water in us so we don't have to worry about it. And then let's start gliding around. Light on. Radiation detected. Okay. So... Is there anything else... That's scary, but is there anything else? What's this? Battery, I think. I think we got this already, we did. Let's head back to our pipe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or a little further in. Can I swap to rebreather yet? Yes. Okay. There's another thing over here. Okay. Let's head back. Yep. I don't really want to bother you guys, but I gotta go, go through. Sorry. Oxygen. Yep. I'm heading towards it. Almost didn't make it. All right, so there was a platform over there. And I got the rebreather on, right? Okay, I got the rebreather on. We can go all the way over there now. Let's get the scanner thing. So I need a modification table. That's the whole reason why we're down here still. Oof. Scary. Super scary. Alright. There's nothing here in this one. Is there another one? Around here, what is that? Any there's oxygen above us. Let's go there. No, thermal vents. Okay. 
60 seconds left. There's another one right there. Is that a way out? It looks like a way out right there. Let's go get oxygen, and then we'll go to that one. Excellent. That coral is just floating in the middle of the ocean. That's crazy. Okay. Up. Further away. Oh, is this the one that I was at before? I don't know. Maybe. There's a thing over here, right? Or is it to the left? It was to the left. Is there anything else in this corner? No. Hello? No. Some deposits right there. Aren't really interesting to me right now. 70% left of my oxygen. No real signs of civilization, except for that to the bottom left right there. Let's go check that out. There's a PDA right there. Signal location uploaded to PDA. Okay. Data. Over here, maybe? Yeah, it's over here. Let's get out of here. Now, what was that? Thirty seconds. Let's get in the. Let's get out first, and we'll find out what that was. Okay. Let's listen to this. We're already 200 meters below sea level. You want to go deeper? Look around us, Chief. Water leaking through the hull, water outside the hatch. We're drowning real slow. If rescue arrives, whatever shot us down, it's going to do it again and again until it's shut off. You see an off switch around here, Chief? Why would it any more likely be half a kilometer down? Your kid found something on the scanner. There's something down there. Something that shouldn't be. <laughs> You're mad! I'm going all the same, and I have an idea you two are gonna follow. But if you do, be mindful. Your authority stopped at sea level. Ooh, that's a thermal vent. So basically, she's just taking charge of the whole crew. But she has their best interest in mind, which I understand, but... Also sounds like the dad's a bit of a dick. Yeah. I already saw that one. So there's nothing else in this cave. Proposed habitat. My pipe is right in front of me. Right here. 14% power should get me there. Definitely get me there. Oxygen, oxygen, oxygen. Where you at? Pipe. There it is. Excellent. Okay. We're going to do one more sweep around for the replicator thing. 
So this is their ha okay, got it. Got it. One more sweep around for anything useful. Nope. Alright, so nothing more can be found inside. Good to know. And I've done a really good sweep of the outside, right? Man, it's kind of a bummer that you have all these modification tables except for the one. Diamond. So I found three modification tables here. I mean, two, two out of the three that I need. Spotlights. Okay. <sighs> bummer, bummer, bummer. I'm sighing because it's just... Man! Alright, well... On this right here, I think I'm going to call the episode right here. We weren't, un we weren't able to get our, our thing because we need a modification table. I don't know where to find that. So we'll just figure it out in a few in the next episode. So I'll catch you next time. Thank you all for watching. Hope you have a wonderful day or night and talk to you soon. Ta ta for now.